me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. right and tight. Good fish, nice fish, real nice fish. I'm using a, uh, one of our raw fish naturals crankbaits actually. There we go. One of our raw fish naturals, it's called the raw seed. Raw seed bluegill, like a pumpkin seed. You don't see a lot of guys using these vibrant colors. They use those clear water colors. That's a good fish. Start off the day. Let this guy go. This lake gets pounded with jerk bait. And I just like to come out here and throw a nice bright crank bait some square bills, some medium divers, and the fish just gobble them up. I think it's just a, a different action uh, than what they're used to. They're always seeing these jerk baits get thrown in their face, but these crank baits are a little bit different. And I just like to crank these flats, get in tight, bounce them off the bottom a little bit, and create that strike. Our raw seed bluegill pattern, which is part of our raw fish natural card bait line, is actually hand painted, just like the rest of it. And you can really tell the difference between a hand paint and just a regular manufactured bait. The details just popped out at you. It's in my opinion, KVD short shanks are the best. I fish a lot of smallmouth myself, and those fish are acrobatic anytime they want. So you have to have a super sharp hook. The other thing I, I do a little bit different, differently sometimes as well is a lot of guys will throw a, a five three to one crankbait reel. But when these fish are staging or during spawn, I just feel that the faster you can crank it in, the better. And, and usually I'll pair that up with a seven one to one, something like that. Right now I've just got this Loose Speed Spool, their new Super Duty. And it's, if you haven't tried out the new Loose reels, you really gotta, you really gotta give them a go. The price is right and the materials they use are by far the best I've used anyways. I've, I've used a lot of the reels out there. Can't say I've used them all, but I've used a lot of them. And Luz just seems to have that right recipe. You know, the right components for the right price. And, and I think that's what a lot of you guys look for, and I do as well. Oh, there's a good one right at the boat. There's a, oh, that's a big fish, right at the boat. Right here. She's actually not that active today. Okay. Holy. Oh, I'm shaking. Oh, I'm shaking. Oh. Oh, that's a. That's a. That's a six-pound fish. That is a six-pound fish. That is a six-pounder. All day long. That's that's like 21 inches. Oh. And it just hit it right at the boat. Right at the boat. You gotta love those jitters. You think you think the, the crankbait is right at the boat. 
on that raw seed bluegill pattern, a raw fish, a raw fish naturals line. Look at that fish. Look at the size of that fish. That is 21 inches. Easy, maybe longer. That's why Lake Erie is one of the best smallmouth fisheries in the world. I'm gonna put this fish back. Well, it's getting pretty nasty out here, so I think I'm gonna head back, but next time you hit a body of water that you're, you're unsure of or you wanna try something different, don't hesitate because there is a good chance that you're gonna do well. Today, I came in thinking, hey, I'm gonna throw crankbaits, I hit shallow water, six to eight feet, and I did quite well. There's a lot of guys out, that are still, out there that are still fishing that 20 to 25 foot range, and I'm glad I did something different. If you have any questions, contact me, Tim at rawfish.com.